On the Leaf, a light-hearted guide for the novice butterfly counter. Hi, welcome to an update from On the Leaf. I'll be sharing the butterflies we have seen this week, how many and where. Last week on the transect, 135 butterflies. This week's count on July the 1st, 178. Top butterflies, first place, meadow brown, but only just. Second place, marbled white. Top moment of the week, hmm, too many. This week begins and ends with rain. We have blustery winds. Some percentages are around 15 to 20%. What did it mean for the butterflies? What kept away? Did anything actually fly in the rain? Go back to last Sunday and the weather was warm. There's a variety of butterflies and on our early morning walk an orange-coloured butterfly spins across our path. It misses us, but only just. It's a comma butterfly and its markings will set the tone for the whole of the week, orange and brown with a bit of black. We follow the comma. It settles on bracken and we watch as at nine in the morning it sits and warms up in the sun. Being cold-blooded, butterflies need to warm up to get ready for a full day's flight. We first met this butterfly, described by the Woodland Trust as a tough, charming, rough-around-the-edges kind of butterfly, on May the 20th this year. Well, it's certainly rough around the edges, but thankfully, numbers are on the increase. Comma butterflies love to drink nectar from bramble, thistle and knapweed, all out now, blackberry and plum in the autumn. They can fly here and be seen around the hedges well into October, and when they need to hide, they shut their wings tight to resemble a dead leaf, well camouflaged. Back in the fields and away from the common, though here as well, there are meadow brown butterflies all over the grass. Most have woken up, but some enjoy a Sunday lie-in, like these two, a male and a female. The female's broad band on her underside, easy to see. Monday continues with the orange theme. With strong winds, not great for counting, 10% sun, not great at all, will butterflies fly? But a good temperature of 17 degrees sees plenty of butterflies in flight. This large skipper, wings folded, sits in a woodland clearing at 12.45. But what is he doing? He's shivering. Can you see? Is he cold? Is it too windy? Butterflies shiver their wings to warm up when there is little sun. When he has warmed up, the skipper will fly as he does here. See how beautiful his orange colour is against the green of the leaf. To one side, a small white butterfly sits. See the markings on its wing and the clubbed antenna that tell you it's a butterfly and not a moth. This side-on shot grabs my attention. Remember the green-veined white drying out, clinging to a blade of grass back in April? Was it a green-veined white? I stand here now and wonder if it had actually been a small white. They are very similar. A red admiral sits on bramble flowers, its black colouring with gashes of red and spots of white, easy to see against the colour of the flower. A marbled white with its chequered patterns of black and white, also easy to spot, sits on a purple backdrop. This is knapweed. Inspiration if you ever needed it for the design of a hat for the races. Minutes later, we spot one of the most striking butterflies I have ever seen. It's our orange flyer from last week, the silver washed fritillary, known for its swooping flight. It's a large butterfly with a wingspan of 72 to 76 millimetres and a fast flyer with its pointed wings, and boy, can it fly! But what does fritillary mean? From the Latin fritillus, it refers to spotted markings on petals or wings. The silver washed has spotted markings and silver streaks on its underside. See here, the silver streaks giving it its name. See the male and female here. The male has black bands on his inner upper wings and spots on the lower. Can you see the difference? These beautiful butterflies, often seen in sunny glades, will breed in shadier parts of nearby woodland. Last year we saw two silver washed flying around the base of a tree trunk in the woodland next to the first meadow. We thought they just emerged as adults. We never really understood it until now. Female silver wash lay their eggs around the base of trees, in the crevices of tree bark. They will lay about two centimetres up from the ground, and often in moss. This is that very tree. More to the point, it faces north, as it needs to, or even to the west, for egg laying. It's fascinating stuff. 
Two minutes later on the Monday and boom, there's another fritillary, often found in flower-rich grasslands feeding on knapweed and thistle. It's the dark green fritillary. They are quite different from the silver washed, being more pale orange in colour. There was a novice butterfly counter. It can be really hard to distinguish between the two and from a distance. Dark green fritillary have an intricate pattern of black spots and lines on their upper side. And with a wingspan of 63 to 69 millimetres, so smaller than the silver washed, should make it easier to identify. So, is this a silver washed or a dark green? It's a dark green fritillary. Everything has grown in the meadows. Birdsfoot tree, foil and orchids are being buried under hemp agrimony and bed straw. Oxeye daisies are on the fade. We see Red Admiral here, loads of marbled white being blown around on the bed straw that is invaded within the space of just a week. Here's a marbled white ignoring the attention of a bee on knapweed in the meadow. We set out on the transect for our weekly count on Wednesday the 1st of July. It's midday, there's a temperature of 17 degrees, a southwesterly wind of 40 miles an hour and 15% sunshine. In the woodland clearing, a silver wash fritillary swoops in to greet us and in the meadows there are meadow brown and comma everywhere. See the comma's jagged edge here. The count of 187 does not disappoint. Thursday brings showers but on a late walk at 2.40 in the afternoon, the clouds clear, the sun comes out, as do the Red Admiral to play. There are comma. See this meadow brown as we zigzag down a path. Watch how he walks across the bramble and suddenly seems to stumble. Many butterflies flew this week, even with less sun and strong winds. When they couldn't find any sun, they sat on a leaf, shivered to raise their body temperature until they could fly, or they hung onto flowers in the wind as they fed. Others kept way down in the grass. And when the drizzle came, they took shelter, like this meadow brown, colour distorted by the torch on my camera in the shade of a beech tree. What have you seen in your garden, your window box or your outside space? Red Admiral love to visit gardens. If you have Budlia, they will come. Watch out for them if you do. 2019 proved the best year for butterfly numbers since 1997. I can't help but wonder if we are about to do better in 2020. Enjoy your butterflies this week. The blaze of orange can still be found even on cloudy and windy days in the meadows and on the woodland paths. And watch out for more brown butterflies. They are already here, a little twitchy. The place is getting crowded. Until next time.